How's it going guys? I got another video for you today and this is a video of a knife made of the company Bar River. It might not be a new knife since they have come out a couple times but they just released another run of the Bar River Tracker as you can see right there. Um, as you can see it comes with a leather sheath. This one is a, uh, it got the, the waterproof treat treatment so it doesn't get, uh, the leather doesn't get that that bad when it get wet but it usually is like light brown it's not this color and it comes with these two leather right there two strap that you can put it in the back or in the in the back side of your your belt scout carry but that's the only inconvenient you are right hand this is gonna get against you your belt so if you are left hand this one is gonna fit way better but it got ready, it got with another strap that I take it off that you can put in your belt just like dangler style. Uh, my idea with this is just try to get a uh, something to hang in my in my shoulders, you know, like to hang it beside my body instead of in my belt, since since it's so heavy heavy knife. I got a couple more stuff right here that is gonna be for comparison purpose. Uh, everybody know already the. The tracker style. It went famous when it came out in the movie The, the Haunted uh, by Benicio del Toro and Tommy Lee Jones. And Tommy Lee Jones. And it was an original Khaled tracker. It was called WSK Wilderness Survivor Knife. So, pretty much, this is a tool that is pretty good doing a lot of stuff, but it's not really good at just one. One purpose, you know, it's the the ultimate tool that you want to take with you for when the wars happen, you get lost. Uh, I mean, you find yourself in a situation in the wood that you can't, that you need to depend on one knife. This was the idea behind this knife. Um, the reader was made by Daybeg. Uh, I believe that's the one that that is more famous. Well, beside the top striker, that but the Daybeg is a. Uh, pretty much the father of the tracker knife I got a couple right here to go do this is the top uh, top T3 this is not a full size I got a full size that is more similar to to this in size but just to see the different take in each manufacturer they do the different styles and this is the more recent day, day winger a winger blade tracker junior he is fine five inch as well but you you see that day winger he take away this strike spine and he put a drop drop spine you can see this and behind the tracker history I will say that is uh, I mean it's no it's no use a knife that you're gonna replace all the other knives, you know, you, you would you would be better with an axe and a saw and a small knife than you would use this. But the idea behind this is that if you if you carry uh, if your possibility of carrying tools is like short. You can always count with this one to to get the job done and keep you alive. This is not intended to. It's supposed to be a good chopper, but it's not intended to replace an axe or a full-size machete or something like that. This is more intended to to replace a tomahawk or maybe a belt axe like this. This is the Bar River Hunter axe. I recently did a video on it, and this is the HB Forge uh, medium camp how you want to look for. It. All right, guys, uh, let me give you a couple quick measurements right here. The Bar River Tracker has a total length of. You're looking at 13 inches and a quarter. And you got a handle with the length of uh, 5 inches and 3 quarter. Your blade is uh, about 7 inches and a half total. And your cutting, your cutting edge is about 7 and a quarter. You got 2 inches of. You got two inches and a half in the hollow grind, and you're looking at five inches total in your in your convex blade. 
somebody turned their car and it's pretty loud. I'm sorry, you can hear that. Let's do let's do a couple of tests. Um, I think that I let the knife speak by by itself. Try this the paper the paper test. I haven't used this knife. It's brand new, so this is how sharp it comes from factory. That's a convex, and that's is the hollow the hollow part. See. it's pretty sharp for the thickness that I get you get almost 5 16 thick so it's pretty sharp knife let me do some batoning we'll see what, what this knife can do this is the same piece of wood that I've been using all this time with the recent test that I did with the Golok 2 and the Hunter Axe and let's see how, how well it does So that was 92 hit, hit with the with the knife. It actually shot better than than the hunter axe. Man, it made me sweat. <laughs> Good because it's cold ahead of side. And this is not a thin piece of wood. This is a good. This is a good almost, uh, I would say four inches wood, so you can take down a tree, small tree you want to with, with the tracker. Let's see how good it is in batoning, because this is a strong blade, it should be really good for that. I got this piece of wood right here, pre-cut already. Test this puppy. That's not bad, that's really good actually.
This is a little thicker than the other piece. The other one I just cut, the one that chopped down. It was four inches. This one is four and a half, so it's a little thicker. From a different part of the tree. Pretty good right there. And this, this is the more uh, uh, one of the most important feature of the knife is that little transition from the convex to the to the hollow grind, and that's like kind of a hook. And it's really good to do feather stick. You can see right there, those are some fine feather stick. Let me try the spine. This is wet, so if it doesn't lead, it's because it hasn't stopped raining in all this time. The spine is super sharp. Let's try to do something different right here. You can see through a decent spark, it's not super sharp, but it can get the job done. If that wood wasn't wet, I'm pretty sure that it would have lit it right now. All right, this is a strength test. <laughs> you know that you guys know that I like to try the knife, and that they are supposed to be hard to use knife. Uh, I like to try in a piece of copper pipe. This is soft metal, it isn't too hard, so it shouldn't do it too bad. But I, I've been lately having not such a good experience with the with the Converse blade. Hopefully this one does better. I forgot to tell you this is A2 still. This let's get into that pipe. One hit. Was two. Yeah, was the three. That's the third one. <laughs> and surprisingly. This, 
there's no damage in the edge there's no damage there's no rolling there's no chipping there is <laughs> there is no single mark of that copper pipe in there that's awesome that's pretty awesome all right guys these are my final conclusion in the video uh, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about the performance of this knife. Um, without fear to be wrong, I can attest that if you're looking for a tracker tracker knife style in the market, this may be the best you can get. I haven't tried a, a day back WSK, but for the price, the attention to the detail, the look of the knife is just just badass I mean it feels comfortable this 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 rear end right there it give you a lot of leverage uh, to cut to to chopping the hook work flawlessly doing the feather stick the knife feels good the cheese the cheese is a really good cheese and the option in the handle you ain't gonna get more option in the handle uh, than bar river this one is white yg 10 with most side pink they add this uh, black liner spacer to make the handle the width that I need to be. I get the red liner. And this is the, the final test with the paper to see how much damage it took. That's the hollow. That's the hollow edge right there. Still pretty good after that abuse. And that's the convex. Lose, lose a little edge right there where where all the chopping was with the tip still pretty good I mean a little time in the strop and this is gonna be perfect alright guys you have a good weekend and hopefully you like the video thanks